Can we just Google the bunny girl though? Viera. So Final Fantasy XIV, Viera. If you guys know my transmog in World of Warcraft, like, hello? How... How can I... How can I... Oh man... They're so cute! I hate myself! What do I... What do? Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to today's stream. It is Wednesday. I hope you guys are are all doing well. We should probably um, get into Final Fantasy XIV and see what we're getting ourselves into because I have no idea what to expect or if I'm going to hate this or what's going to happen. So um, I think it's worth it to, to give it a shot and hopefully it's awesome and I don't suck. What made you decide to play this? I'm hearing from different communities that a lot of folks are starting, which is pretty cool. Prismatic, I love Final Fantasy as a franchise in general. And a lot of my community members lately have been asking me why I haven't played it. And over the years, a lot of people have asked me to play it. And I've sort of been putting it off because of the whole, like you require a subscription to play it kind of thing. And I already pay a subscription for World of Warcraft. So I, I put it off and put it off and put it off. But from my understanding, you can play up to level 60 now for free. And so there's a lot of game content that I'd be able to experience to really give it a chance to see if I like it or not. So, um, so yeah, I decided to give it a try knowing that now it's level 60 and a lot of people, like I said, in the chat have been just saying such great things. So I, I really want to have a game like, like an MMO where I can fall back on too that the community enjoys. And I do play a lot of Final Fantasy or like JRPG stuff from time to time. So I want to give it a try to see, to see if I like it. Cause it sounds like I should, you know? And, and so hopefully uh, it's awesome. Okay. I think we're good. Let's, let's go into this scene. Let's go into this scene and see what's up. Okay, so do I have to pick data center? Or do I just go start? Connecting to data center. I didn't have any of them starred though, really. It just had the like them in a list. Uh, hi, Delen. A vibrant planet. Can you guys still hear okay? By the light of the crystal. I turned it up a little bit because it was quiet for me too. Seas, encompassing the westernmost of the three great continents. There lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Aorzia. Ooh, Aorzia, that's a fancy name. Seems good now? Good. History chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace the astral errors to date all have proven ephemeral nice Roush, nice in the year 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era the northern empire of Gollumald amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon, Dalamon, was plucked from the heavens through imperial. Hey, LK and Suffin, how's it going? Welcome. I'm just starting right now today. Uh, I'm in North America, so I did choose Aether or I clicked on Aether. I don't actually know if I had to pick a subcategory though just yet or not, but uh, uh, yeah, Dragon, how's it going? Welcome. The devastation brought Eorzea to its Learning the lore currently. <laughs> It'll come up in a sec, cool. Ooh, a fancy dragon. Either two, nice. That's awesome. Five years have come and gone. Oh. The light of life still shines upon Eorzea. All the cho- Look at the cute chocobos Man with their armor. To raise himself from the calamity's ruin. It is, Barksy. It really is. Awesome. I'm excited to check it out. I can't wait. The realm is forever changed. A 
stranger to him once more. Wow! Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. Man, I'm excited. I, I hope I really Spurred enjoy it. By the promise of peace and prosperity. Armored chicken nuggets, Mr. Sandstorm. Oh no. An adventurer. Oh my god, Brian. My PTSD just got triggered so hard. Oh, Robbie, thanks so much for watching. Guys, I didn't realize so many people played this. My mage, my sorry, my mage in WoW is very similar set to the make here with the pointed hat and high collar. Nice. What if there's a green chokeable mount? That'd be awesome. Nod that 13 too. Okay, welcome to Eorzea. Before your adventure can begin, you must first create a character. Okay, welcome to the character customization stream, ladies and gentlemen, because I take a really long time doing this. Okay, so hold on. This is what? Oh, 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 okay, we're... Before this, it was top right. Shoot, I missed it. Okay. We are going to go through the... Oh, I'm blocking stuff. Hold on a second. I need to go in a better spot. Bottom left, chat. I want you to be able to read the descriptions with me for things. This is important. So, is it pronounced Hyur? They're said to have first traveled to Eorza from her surrounding continents and islands. Three gate... Three great migratory waves later, they are now the most populous of all the civilized races. They exhibit a relatively modest physique, both in height and build, and are known for their peculiarly... I get no bunny girl yet? What? Why? Shadowbringers brings the other two races? I can't even see what they are? But what if I want to be a bunny? Do I just buy the expansion? <laughs> <laughs> Delete the game! Where's the bunny girl? I have to purchase the expansion? Damn it! It won't even show me what they look like though. I want to see. Catboy best in slot. Okay, listen. If you have an existing character, you can change them into a Hrothgar or indeed any race with a Final Fantasia. You can buy these from the Mog Station. Okay. Can we just Google the bunny girl though? Viera? So, Final Fantasy XIV, Viera. Wow! If you guys know my transmog in World of Warcraft, like, hello? How... How can I... How can I... Oh man! They're so cute! I hate myself! What do I... What do? But I can change it later? Okay, fine. Fine. Fine, you're right. You're right, chat. Keeping me in check. I appreciate you all. Although she's friggin' really cool looking. Okay? If you can't, I was never here. Go bigger, go home. <laughs> but anyway, sorry, let us continue reading about the races. So, it looks like this is the most populous of all the civilized races. They exhibit a relatively modest physique, both in height and build, and are known for their peculiarly short, rounded ears. No. They're well suited for traveling along distances by foot, a trait thought to account for their swift proliferation. Their espousal of an eclectic variety of languages and traditions is legacy of their diverse heritage. So this is like a human, essentially. Eh. Elizin. I'm curious about this. So in former times, the Elizin were the sole inhabitants of Eorza, claiming domination over her. Traditionally, a nomadic people, the tall, slender El Elizin, is it Elizin believed the realm to be theirs by divine right. Unfortunately, this belief has made the eventful appearance, or eventual appearance, sorry, of the high war, high, I, I can't, these are hard to pronounce. Unfortunately, this belief made the eventual appearance of the Hyur in their multitudes akin to an invasion and a long history of conflict. Ooh. Ultimately, the Elizin diverged into the two clans that exist today. The Wildwood took to the forest to protect their homeland, while the Dusk White withdrew to caves and subterrain, opting instead to avoid all contact with any but their own. This sounds juicy. Okay, I like Elizin. What about Lalafell? Ah! <laughs> okay, a wee people's boarding short, rotund bodies. The Lalafell appear as no more than children to the eyes of most. 
Most of these nimble little folk hail from the islands of the South Seas where they practice a simple agricultural lifestyle. It was not until the opening of maritime trade routes that the gradual migration of Lollafels to Eorza began. Now, one of the most well-established races in the whelm, whelm, in the whelm, in the womb. Okay, so um, many of these nimble little folk hail from the islands of the South Seas where they participate a Sorry, where they practice a simple agricultural lifestyle. It was not until the opening of maritime trade routes that the gradual migration of Lollafels to Eorza began. Now, one of the most well-established races in the realm, Lollafels can be found in great numbers in nearly every city. Th sorry, though Lollafelon culture places great emphasis on blood relations, individuals are known for getting along amicably with members of all races. Okay. Okay, let's go to Mikote. Okay, let me read, let me read, hold on, hold on. I like the bunny girl better still. The ancestors of the Mikote made their way to Irza during the age of endless frost, traversing the frozen seas in pursuit of the wildlife upon which they subsisted. Adaptation to a hunting lifestyle has fashioned them with a keen sense of smell, powerful legs, and a tail, which provides them with exceptional balance. Hmm. Mikote are known to be very territorial and many individuals tend to lead solitary lifestyles, particularly males. Okay. Rogadin. Mm, I really don't want to read you. Aura. Okay. Hold on. She's cute too. She's kind of cute too. But is she a fish? The curved horns and beautifully patterned scales that characterize the aura often give rise to speculation that members of this higher like race native to the far eastern continent of Othard are, in fact, the pr progeny of dragons. Oh, dragons! This, however, has long been disputed with scholars, citing several distinct differences in the two races as evidence of decidedly dissimilar roots, the first and foremost being the enhanced hearing and spatial recognition granted by an aura's cranial projections, traits not attributed to draconian horns, and the second being the gross disproportion disproportion in body mass between ori males and females again a trait widely unseen in dragons holy shit the guys are so big okay so i don't know i i don't know what to do i don't know what to do guys in regards to the lore side of things, I kind of like the Ellison. I kind of like that they feel like the higher came in and just like take took over their their land, like their native land. But I also like the idea of the Mikote. Who would have thought? Okay, listen, am I that predictable? <laughs> I also like the Mikote though. I'm not really sure what to do. Everyone's Mikote, everyone hates Lollafos who stand out as an Ellison or Aura. I think Aura is cute, but it is my lesser favorite. I think I like Elizabeth better, although she's so tall. I feel like I'm not that tall. But Aura is kind of cool too. I don't know. I don't know what to do. This is so hard to choose. Like I actually want to have multiple characters because I just like all of them. I don't know what to do. Pick Elizabeth. It's not as common as you can, so you can stand out. We haven't even gone into customization. Um, yeah, let's look at the sub races, I guess. So if I go Elizin, and then I say, is it, con what does this do? Oh my God, put some clothes on. Okay, we're gonna just go, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we knew about this. This one is described. So Wildwood or Dusk White. Oh shit, it changes the way they look. Lead you 2.0. Listen, hold on. So if I go Mikote. Oh, there's only one for that. So you mm -hmm. can only be... Oh, no, here. Hold on. Seekers of the sun or keepers of the moon. Hmm. I don't know what... I don't know what... But the... But they're so cute. What do I do? I do want to see what the aura looks like, too. See, okay, the the aura remind me of the Zora from Zelda. I know that they're not water-like creatures, but they do just remind me of, of them a lot. Although I think they're cool, I think they're this is not gonna be my first character. I think I'm I feel like I'm I wish I could be a, a, a bunny girl at heart, but let's just look at the humans. I mean, eh, they seem kind of boring, honestly. 
Yeah, this is so boring. We're not doing that. Okay, so it's Allison. What about the Lollafil? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So why do people not like Lollafil so much? Because I think that they're really cute. What's the problem? They're kind of meme -y. Oh, okay. I guess I'll learn as I play. I'm thinking, okay, because of the story, part of me really feels like I want to go with Allison. But I also like the description for the Mikote. I don't know what to choose! I'm so overwhelmed. I think I'm leading Wildwood, which feels like it's very not me because I usually like the darker stuff, but I just don't like the whole concept of them going to be robbers and pillagers, you know? I think based on the lore itself, I kind of like the whole Wildwood thing a little bit more. So let's go with Wildwood and maybe we'll take a look at the appearance. So height-wise, I don't want to be super tall. Okay, now we're in the class territory, which I have no idea what I'm doing. What am I looking to play? Can click job attire for the class gear look. Yes. Let me see what this is. Oh. Okay. Shit. If I'm going to base my experience off of the, my play style, um, which, I, you know, I have a very specific play style. It's run in and kill shit. I don't like tanking, though. So I'm more of a DPS kind of a person. So like for me, when I play World of Warcraft, I do play a demon hunter um, or um, a rogue. So those are the types that I typically like. A lot of you are saying Lancer or Archer. Lancer is good, should we read it? So the strategy of the Lancers is to outrange and fluster opponents with their long two-handed pole arms, peppering them with a barrage of thrusting attacks. They're trained with a number of weapons, giving a diversity of, to their attacks, and that makes them extremely versatile combatants. In former times, the long spear saw the most widespread use, due in part to the influence of the proud Lancer regions of Alamijo. Migo? Since then, the guild has greatly expanded its armories to include a variety of weaponry, such as a halberd and the trident. So, okay, I'm right now, pugilist, Lancer. Archer seemed like it was okay, but I'm, I mean, I loved playing a demon hunter in Diablo two, or three. Did you guys play Diablo three at all? And that was ranged, and it was with a it was with a bow and stuff, and that was okay. But I feel like I didn't love Hunter in WoW, so I feel like maybe Pugilist or Lancer would be my better bets. Lancer has the better starting area, and quite honestly, it's more beginner friendly. Oh shit! But yeah, I'm, I'm a beginner, guys. I'm a beginner. Gridania is the most similar to a WoW starting area, and which one gives you that? Lancer and Archer start in Gridania. Fuck. What does Gridania look like? Is it one of these places? It's not. Oh, this one. Oh, but it's inside. Hover over the class. Is it the bottom area that I'm covering? It is. Okay. Do I go Lancer? I don't know what to do. Holy shit. I kind of want to do the forest area. Like, I feel like I like that, that idea better. Okay. I think I, think I want to do... Okay. I think I will end up switching to Rogue at level 10. But I feel like I would like to see the forest area as my first area introduction. So I think we'll do Lancer to start and then at level 10, maybe switch over to to Rogue. Let's let's do Lancer to start and we'll figure it out, guys. I think that that's okay because it's still DPS. We're still going to have a lot of fun. Let's do it. Okay, Lancer. Hmm. Okay, you selected Adam on... Uh, no, wait. Select another. This is my starred one. Why can't I pick it? Not accepting any more new characters? Oh, okay, we'll wait for the last refresh. And then if the last refresh doesn't have any of the ones we originally wanted open, I will go Genova. It's up, refresh, sorry. Uh... Oh, they're still, they're still not available. Oh man. I think we just go Genova for now. Let's get started. What do you guys think? Vote Genova. It won't be at fast. It's peak hour in the game. Oh, you're right. Let's go Genova. Oh, uh, specify the first and last name of your character. First and last name? Uh, That's my first name, but what's my last name? Should I just space it out? Yeah, I guess you guys are right. All right, let's do that. Makes sense. With two A's and uh, confirm. Begin a new character? Yes. Okay, I'm scared. 
It will just have a space. That's okay. That's the best we can do, chat. And what? Remember, here we go. And then what? This is normal? It goes by fast? Okay. I was gonna say, Jesus Christ, after the customization for so long. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Five hours later. It's 28. Yeah, that's not bad. Wait till expansion. We're swamped. Oh, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting. We're embarking on our Final Fantasy 14 experience in Genova because everywhere else was full. All right. Now, here we go. Crazy, isn't it, Ina? It is. <laughs> 300, yeah, wow, had like thousands in the queue for a while at uh, the beginning of each expansion release. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad hidden. Hello. Yeah. Oh, that's what she was yeah. saying. I thought she was saying like here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a long, it's a long wait. I used to use remote desktop when Classic WoW first came out. And like, I would make sure when my queue popped, I could get right in. Who is this guy? Hello? My main squeeze? Okay. I'll take it. Oh, oh Dom, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Who, who is this guy? Oh, hello, sir? Uh, I have questions. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Oi! Oh shit. I pressed the button. I have a chat box on my screen. I cover it pretty well. This is good. Okay, UI likes me. Ahem. <clears throat> Y'all right, lass? You are moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. That'll be the Aether, I reckon. Some are more prone to the sickness than others. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. Smint, what? Are you gonna share? Hey, you! You're finally awake! <laughs> I will, Roush, I will. Mugo! <laughs> no, I'm gonna do all of it, Churchy. Feeling better, Koopo? Aha! You can see us! I had a feeling you could, Koopo! We're Moogles, and we live in this wood. Furry creature? Normal folks can't see or hear us, which makes you special, Koopo. And seeing as how you're special, maybe you can tell us something. The wood's been restless of late. Lots of strange things happening. Have you chanced to witness anything suspicious, Koopo? Lancer Locust. Slap the Moogle? What the? But of course you haven't. You've only just arrived. Well, there's nothing for it then. We'll just have to keep looking. Nice to meet you, Koopo. Just, just chugging a bottle of wine. What is going on? I should add that to my Moogle cosplay. The bottom of the bottle of wine. <laughs> True Troy. Oh, there's none left. Oh my god. Uh, uh, that's so awkward. <laughs> Gridania is still a far way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake, how's about you keep me company till we get there? Them youngins don't much care for conversation, see? 
Bremont's the name and Pedlin's me trade. Okay. Apparently, Ina. Apparently. As for you, good self. Sorry, as for your good self, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you were one of them new adventurers. Am I warm? I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. As long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business these days, especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Oh shit, why did I become an adventurer? Does this mean anything? Does this matter? Um... I would, I would, I... Uh, I, I feel like... Uh, 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 power? <laughs> power, as in power to do good? Like protecting the weak and fighting for what's right and all that? I, I thought that's what you meant. Well, adventurers do get up to a lot of fighting, that's for sure. You'll never be short of a chance to polish your Warcraft in the adventuring business. Wrong answer? I think I picked a good answer. A minor cosmetic? What is the cosmetic? Wait, cosmetics are not minor. Cosmetics are serious. Cosmetics are very important. Okay, don't scare me, guys. Phew. When you arrive in town, you'd best enroll at the Adventurers Guild and they'll set you on the right path. And it wouldn't hurt to join a guild, neither. Gridani is home to a few, so if you fancy learning how to fight with a bow, a polearm, or even spells, you should think about seeking one out. Okay, gotcha, Tofu. Just remember, though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Exactly, Mr. Sandstorm. Exa I tricked him, though. So, halt! Go no further. Uh, Steel Rain, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. What's this then? Uh. Uh, what? Uh, what's going on? A skirmish has broken out up ahead. With the Ixel? For your own safety, you must remain here until... Bloody hells! We shall hold them here. Try to break clear. Huh? What does that even mean? Still Rain, thank you again so much for that sub. I super appreciate it. Thank you. Break clear equals get the fuck out. Yeah, I guess I guess so. That was too bleeding close. Nice of the Ixel to send us a welcoming party, though, eh? Joking aside, this won't be the last time you meet those feathered fiends, so just you take care, all right? By the by, is this your first trip to Gridania? Thank you very much, Steel. I'm very excited. I guess we'll say yes. We'll be honest. It is our first trip here. I've never done this before, so... It is? Well, then, let this journeyed itinerant... I itinerant, itinerant, yes, tell you the ins and outs of your destination. The city of Gridania lies slap bang in the middle of the Black Shroud, the biggest, luscious forest in all of Eorza. Though it ain't near as lush as it used to be, saying that, not since the calamity laid half of it to waste. The destruction prompted a herd of new nasties to move in and gave the Ixel unneeded encouragement. Birdman raids become a daily occurrence. That's so sad. It's a bit slow. It gets more fun and interesting towards 50. Oh, I will, Outlandish. Thank you. As a single one of those arrows hits one of those cute nuggets, pulling the carriage, we were going to have a... Pro if, if one of the chocobo got hurt, I would have been upset. At long last, behold Gridania, the forest nation blessed by the elementals. The Black Shroud, the ancient forest close to the heart of Eorzea. Oh, okay, gotcha. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees. I'm excited, Monley. That actually sounds quite lovely. You pulled the spare chocobo. <laughs> you just pop out of the trunk. Can you imagine? Just keep them back there forever. And the special hat in the back. <laughs> hey, Arsene! The head, 
change. What's going Even on? The mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could not foresee oh, the coming of the seventh umbral era. However, the goddess Nofika was never one to forsake her children, and today she welcomes another brave soul. One who may yet play. Our said I'm on Genova. It was the, the only one that was really open, to be honest. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet, outlandish. And here's where we pay. Oh, sorry. Here's where we part ways, last. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares. Then it's back to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this by way of thanks for keeping me company. Oh, damn it. Opened? Oh, man. Yes, Sephiroth. That's why I chose it. Exactly. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about. Haven't met, and I'll consider us square. Oh, also, guys, in case you didn't know, I did a Sephiroth cosplay. I'm a cosplayer for anyone that's new. Um, may the matron take her yeah. to her bosom. That but Zach is my favorite. Never want. Thanks, Troy. <laughs> and in her heart, so serenity... Purity nice, Arsene. Sanctity. You don't leave it there forever. You'll have to calibrate the spirit to bird too. Here we go. You're on crystal. Everyone I love plays on Aether and crystal. Oh, yeah. I, um, I wanted to get into the streamer server, but it was full, and um, and uh, my a lot of my friends play on a fairy, and it was also full. So I just chose Genova because Sephiroth. I have saved my looks already, that's true. That is true. I had it as like the first profile or whatever. Look at the lance though. Um, you there, yes you. Your face is not known to me. Newly come to the city, no doubt. I am Bertenant, a wood whaler of Gridania. It is my duty to protect our nation from her enemies while welcoming those who may yet prove her friends. Let us see which you are. You may move your all to Genova now? Yes! <laughs> I might just stay on here. I don't know. I think I'll just stay on Genova for now. And then we can figure it out. If I want to try like a different starting class or like something like that afterwards. We'll see how I like the game first. So, uh, welcome to Gridania, a vibrant forest nation cradled in the bosom of nature. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. Mouse and keyboard. Okay, so moving the character. Yep, okay, gotcha. Um, jump, turn character, and move the camera. Can I actually just... When you're ready to proceed, speak to Bertenant. Okay, so it's like, it's like, wow. Feels exactly the same. I can jump. Uh. So in non-NPCs, offering quests can be recognized by the exclamation marks above their heads. Right click the mark to bring up the quest window. Uh-huh. Once you've initiated a quest, a prompt will appear detailing its objectives and rewards. Click on the accept button in the lower left. La 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 la. Okay, so coming to Rodania. To be recognized as an adventure in the city-state of Gridania, you must first register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. That's what I'm here to do! That's what I'm here to do! Sounds good, Arsene, I will. Um, another green adventure, I presume? He's calling me a green because of my, my, my race, right? Because the Elizin Wild... What was I again? Wildwood? They're from the forest and they're referred to as greens? Oh, he's referring to me as green as in new? In the lore! Scrub the VOD. Didn't they say that that Wildwoods were called greens? I thought as much. We cannot allow strangers to wander Gridania unchecked and untested. Only Dusk Whites call them that. Oh, Flaffin, thank you. Before you rush off and begin pestering every second citizen for work, I suggest you make yourself known at the Carline Canopy. That's the headquarters of the local Adventurers Guild, in case you were wondering. The Carline Canopy is the building you see behind me. Okay, this thing... 
speak to Mother Mayun, Mayun within it, and she will take you in hand. Hey, Carlos, how's it going? Okay, you've begun a quest. Use the duty list to help you complete your task. So here's the next quest with Mother Mayun. Um, complete a quest by right-clicking the NPC with the check mark displayed above their head. That's pretty self-explanatory, so we completed. Well, well, what have we here? A wide-eyed and wondering young adventurer. Come to put your name down at the guild, I assume? Welcome. Is it Mayun? My own? How do you pronounce this name? My name or Mother Mayo? Can I? Mio? Mio? Uh, uh, uh. As most call me, and the Carline Canopy is my place. The head of the Adventurers Guild in Gridania, I have the honor of providing guidance to the fledgling heroes who pass through our gates. No matter your ambitions, the Guild is here to help you attain them. In return, we expect you to fulfill your duties as an adventurer by assisting the people of Gridania. A fine deal, wouldn't you agree? To an outsider's eyes, all may seem well with our nation, but not could be further from the truth. The people live in a state of constant apprehension. The Ixil and various gangs of common bandits provide an unending supply of trouble. Trouble compounded by the ever-present threat of the Garlean Empire to the north, and that is to say nothing of the calamity. Even now, the wounds have barely begun to heal. Ah, but I speak of it as if you were there. Forgive me. Five years have passed. Uh, Eorza was well nigh laid to waste when a dread worm, worm emerged from within the lesser moon, Dalamud, and rained fire upon the realm. It is this which people call the Calamity. Scarcely a square mom of the Twelve's Wood was spared the devastation, yet despite the forest's extensive wounds, not a soul among us can recall precisely how it all happened. I am well aware of how improbable that must sound to an outsider. It is improbable, but it's also true. For reasons we can ill explain, the facts surrounding the Calamity have shrouded in mystery. There are as many versions of events as there are people willing to recount them. Yet amidst the hazy recollections and conflicting accounts, all agree on one thing, that Eorza was saved from certain doom by a band of valiant adventurers. Whatever else we've misremembered, none of us has forgotten the heroes who risked life and limb for the sake of the realm, and yet, whenever we try to say their names, the words die upon our lips. And whenever we try to call their faces to mind, we see naught but silhouettes amidst a blinding glare. Thus, how these adventurers come to be known as the Warriors of Light. <clears throat> Pray, do not feel daunted by the deeds of legends. We do not ask that you become another warrior of light, only that you do what you can to assist the people of Gridania. Great or small, every contribution counts, and I trust you will play your part. Okay, sounds good. All that's left then is to conclude the business of registration. Here's a quill and scrawl your name there. There we go. And I would appreciate it if you used your real name. There's a special place in the seventh hell for those who use amusing aliases. <laughs> I used my real name. Marissa Emma, hmm? And you're quite sure that isn't an amusing alias? Does it sound funny? Very well, from this moment forward, you are a registered adventurer of Gridania, nation blessed of the elementals, and the bounty of the Twelveswood. The guild expects great things from you. Look at what just arrived. Another god, a god's damned adventure. Don't you start with that. Adventures are the very salve that Gr Gridania needs. The elder seed seer herself bade us welcome them with open arms. Do you mean to disregard her will? Of course not. Lest you forget, it is my sworn duty to uphold the peace. I am to blame, or am I to blame if outsiders bring mistrust upon themselves? You, adventurer, mind that you do not cause any trouble here, or I shall personally cast you out of this realm into the seventh hell. They keep talking about this seventh hell, so I, I think I don't want to go there. Ahem! <clears throat> Pay that outburst no mind. He meant only to counsel you. Suspicious characters have been prowling the twelve foot of late, you see, and the wood whalers feel they cannot afford to take any chances. As is often the way with folk who live in isolation, Gridanians are wont to distrust things they do not well they do not well know, your good self included. Fear not, however, given a catalog of exemplary deeds and no one, oh my God, I can read today. And no more than a handful of years, the locals will surely warm to you. Years? 
On behalf of my fellow citizens, I welcome you to Gridania. May you come to consider our nation as your own in time. Now then, you may depend on old mother Miune, right? Miuna, sorry. Mi you na uh to teach you a few things that every adventurer should know okay we complete this quest on oh, i guess this concludes the introductory game tutorial you have taken the first step as an adventure in the city of gridania listen well to the wisdom of mother mi yune and then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you Um, sorry, so you guys are talking about 1.0. What, what do you mean exactly? So important quests used to tell the story of Eorza and her people are called main scenario quests. These tasks are easily distinguishable from others by their unique icon, okay? So Miyune, proprietress of the Carline Canopy, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. All right. 1.0 of this game was nuked and ARR replaced it. This is a Realm Reborn, right? Because the whole world got destroyed. Oh! When it first came out, it didn't look like this. It basically nuked the world and remade everything. Oh. The story of how that world came to an end and transitioned into this is all canon. That's quite interesting. Okay. So let us begin at the beginning, shall we? Now that you're a formal member of the Adventurers Guild, we must be sure you have a firm grasp of the fundamentals of adventuring. To that end, I have three tasks I wish you to perform. Your first task is to visit the Aetherite. This massive crystal stands in the middle of the Aetherite Plaza, not far from the Carline Canopy. As the device that enables instantaneous transportation, the Aetherite plays a key role in the life of the ever-wandering adventurer. Once you've located the crystal, all you need to do is touch its surface. A member of the Wood Whalers will be present to offer further instruction. For your second task, you are to visit the Lancer's Guild. There is no better place to learn the arts of the polearm and speak with Jillian. She will explain the benefits of joining the guild. For the third and final task, I would have you visit the markets at the heart of Old Gridania's commercial district. There you shall find weapons and armor and all the various items that an adventurer might need on her travels. There is, however, more to the markets than buying and selling goods. Speak with Parsimon Tret and listen well to his counsel. The master merchant can be uncooperative at times, so be sure to offer him one of my famous eel pies. Like so many men, he is much more charitable when his stomach is full. Here, I made a batch not too long ago. You have your tasks, Marissa. May Nofika guide your path. Oh, and one more thing. Should you happen to come across any citizens in need, don't be afraid to proffer a helping hand. I am certain they will be pleased to meet an adventurer in whom they can confide their woes. Granted, the work they offer is unlikely to be of realm-shattering importance, but prove your worth and build a rep in time, folk will be more inclined to entrust you with matters of moment. Eel pies? What? Yeah, there must be forest eels. The hall of the novice will start before the first dungeon. Thank you, Hito. I appreciate that. I also suggest that you lend an ear to the smith here in the canopy. The smiths are trusted representatives of the Adventurers Guild and are an invaluable source of advice for the neophyte heroes seeking to attain greatness. Okay. Cool. Oh, he's friendly. He, like, gave me this, the quick, like, I was not sure. <laughs> I, I was like, is he mad at me? But then he waved, so I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Quest accepted! I'm now online? Ah! Okay, what is this? So the main menu grants quick and easy access to most of the game's main features. For example, selecting character under character opens a window containing your character's various attributes and currently equipped gear. Selecting journal under duty displays a list of current and completed events and stuff. Okay, so the uh, character... Is this a window that actually opens... Oh... Uh... Oh, uh, okay, wait. I guess I is inventory. I don't know if there are any shortcuts and stuff. M is map. J is the journal, which I guess is the quest uh, container thingy. So a crescent moon icon will appear to the right of your experience bar whenever you enter a sanctuary. Well, in this special area, you will, rec you will accrue a rested bonus. The bonus will continue to grow even if you are offline. So where is this? Oh, here. So I'm rested right now. 
All experience earned through battle, crafting, and gathering while under the benefit of the rested bonus will be increased by 50%. Your current rested bonus is displayed on top of your experience bar. The dark orange bar shows how much more experience can be earned before the bonus fades. If the bar is blue, it indicates your bonus will carry over to the next level. Inns and cities as well as various outposts and settlements are classified as sanctuaries. To maximize your experience earning potential, make it a habit to always log out in one of these areas. So just like in World of Warcraft, that's basically what that's saying. So M is for map. Um, in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, there's also travel. If the quest objective is in that area, it will be indicated with a special icon. The location of quest objectives can be confirmed by clicking on the objective in the duty list. Okay. So, um, I thought that they wanted me to talk to the smith. What does this icon mean, exactly? Greetings, I am one of the smiths, a stoker of fires and forger of futures. As a dedicated member of the Adventurers Guild, I have been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. Novice training? Oh, tutorials, okay. I am a new player, yes, you are right. Um, okay, so let's click here. Uh, I see uh, you have but recently taken up the adventurous mantle. The possibilities stretching out before you must be positively daunting. Oh no, I moved this. In the Adventurous Guild, we see new adventurers as fledgling heroes. You are our champions of tomorrow, our nascent stars of limitless potential. My fellow Smiths and I are here to provide you with guidance, but the guild also enlists a cadre of veteran adventurers who will be happy to share with you their accumulated wisdom. You can recognize these helpful men and women by their title of mentor. Mentors stand ready to advise you on any aspect of adventuring. They have hundreds of quests under their belts and will likely have a solution for whatever dilemma might be causing you trouble. A mentor may even offer to accompany you on adventures. I highly recommend that you take advantage of a mentor's aid to enrich your experiences in Eorza. Pray do not hesitate to ask me if you would like to know more. The new adventurer status is applied to all players who've recently begun their adventures. Amongst Eorza's sorry, thriving population, there are seasoned players known as mentors who have taken it upon themselves to assist new adventurers. When a new adventurer and mentor form a party, they both receive a bonus to experience points and, uh, earned. Upon invitation by a mentor, new adventurers also gain access to the Novice Network, an exclusive chat channel where they can consult with mentors and share their experiences. Okay. Um... That's fine. So I can't use that yet, basically. And I don't really want to, I don't think. Um, so I guess I leave here? Attune yourself to the Aether I found inside the city. So I guess I want to follow this road, right? It says level one, close to home. That's the main story quest. And then level one, preserving the past. So MSQ, what is MSQ exactly? The main story quest. And so, uh, this is a side quest here? Yes. And there's no plus. Not worth doing now? Really? So I shouldn't be doing these regular side quests? Really? Okay. It's different from WoW. Yeah, I'm very, like, confused by that, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So then wait. I want to go close to home, right? So, here? And go to the Aetherite and touch this thing. Did it work? Did I touch it? Hello? Oh, here. Attuning. I'm attuning! Not needed for your first job. Okay, gotcha. Greetings, adventure. I see you are faithfully following Mother Miyune's instructions. Allow me to offer you a bit of instruction myself. I am Misha of the Wood Whalers, and I know a thing or two about the Aetherite. Yes, that big crystal right there. Okay. Most of the time, focus on MSK when side, sorry, MSQ. Uh, when side quests have a blue exclamation mark with a plus on it, you can do. But other quests can be done later if you need some quick experience. Oh, okay. Focus on the top left. Two quests on the screen. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Aetherites are devices that tap into ethereal energies and are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Return and teleport, the most common transportation spells, make direct use of the Aetherites and their connection to the flow of Aether. And as these devices are found in almost every corner of Eorza, any adventurer worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune herself to each one. Truly few things in this world are so useful to an intrepid explorer. But you need not locate them all at once before rushing out into the wild. I suggest you start with the Aetherites found here in Gridania. Should you wish to learn more about the Aetherite or transportation magic, I am here to answer your questions. The 
ground is ingrained in your brain. Basically, you have one single quest chain that takes you through the entire game, and that's all you need to level all the way to the end of your first job. It also unlocks most of the content in the game. Okay. So you attune with the Aetherite, and you're now able to use the return spell. So the spell return can be used to instantly travel back to the Aetherite set as your home point. Casting this spell does not require any MP and can be accessed by selecting Return Under Travel from the main menu. I see. The sole limitation of this spell is that it can only be cast every 15 minutes. Only one home point may be set at any time. So this looks like a hearth. Um, I guess I go down this way. I want to go to the Lancer's Guild. I'm not sure if that is this way or not, but... Close to home? Here! Here's some... This guy. By what right does a fledgling adventurer presume to address Parsimontret, master of the markets? You think you can stroll in here bold as you please and demand my hard-earned knowledge? Ha! A merchant does not for naught, especially when dealing with would-be heroes. If, on the other hand, you had some tasty morsel to curry my flavor, then I might reconsider your request. Come now, this whole encounter reeks of Mayune's handiwork, and more specifically, her baking. Don't look so surprised, lass. I smelled the eel pie of your, your so long away. Hand it over. So we'll click on this. Uh, some quests will require you to deliver items. If an NPC requires an item, an item request window will appear. So drag the item into the item request window. Um, okay, complete the transaction when you hit hand over. The flaky crust, just divine. Very well. I am a man of my word. Pay close attention, for I shall only explain this once. The aspiring adventurer need look no further than the rosewood and ebony stalls. Both are but a short stroll from where we stand. If you mean to do battle, you'd best be prepared with a quality set of weapons and armor. Such goods as the province of the rosewood stalls, directly south of here. You will be pleased to learn that the merchants of Gridania are exceedingly popular when it comes to craftsmanship, so you needn't fear defective straps and the like. Oops. Um, I'm just gonna hit no for this right now. Uh, if it is potions and paraphernalia you seek, head north to the ebony stalls. The shelves are lavishly stocked by widely traveled Uldan merchants, and I may truly say that I have seen things amongst this myriad wares that I scarce knew existed. Do you follow me thus far? The first step in any purchase is to select the stalls that meet your needs. Then you may concern yourself with price and profit. There is little more than I could teach you with mere words. Go peruse the stalls and see for yourself what wares they offer. There is no substitute for first-hand experience, after all. Um, and I am a, I'm weary of talking unless you have another eel pie. Okay. If you click on the quest objectives that are in white text, it will auto-locate to the destination. Like these ones? Oh, okay, I see. That's a different... Ah, oh, this one. Welcome to the Lancer's Guild. I see you brought your own spear. If you seek to refine your skills with the polearm, then you've come to the right place. Here at the advanced... The, at the Lancer's Guild, spear wielders gather to train with one another and further hone their abilities under the tutelage of our fine instructors. More than just an instrument of war, the spear is also a tool for hunting, and with game ever plentiful in the Twelves Wood, the weapon has been the mainstay of the locals here since before the founding of Redania. With the passing of time, our nation began, sorry, became a gathering place for spearmasters from across the realm, many eager to test their mettle against the famed might of our wood whalers. And it was here in Gridania that their myriad fighting styles came into contact, eventually giving rise to the art taught here today. That spear technique could be formalized at all owed much to the founding of the Lancers Guild by wood whaler Captain Mistal Nye on a century past. The tradition of accepting students from without as well as within Gridania's borders persists to this day, ensuring that the art of the polearm may not only survive, but also continue to evolve. Well, there you have it. I hope this brief history of the guild has helped settle any doubts in your mind. The Lancers Guild is always eager to welcome new initiates. If you've a will to enlist, speak with me again and we can begin the enrollment procedures. So this one is a, this one is a blue quest with a plus, right? So these are important to do. You need to do these. Okay, so if I see a plus and an exclamation mark that is blue, I need to do them. The quest unlocks things. Gotcha. So, well then, having made up your mind to enlist in the Lancer's Guild, I will accept. I shall let Guildmaster Ewain know to expect you. All who seek admittance to our ranks must present themselves before him. He will judge if you are fit to become one of us. Pray make your way to your training area within. Our Guildmaster awaits you there. 
So, uh, I gotta talk to this guy, Ywain, right? Well met, adventurer. I understand you wish to learn the Lancer's art under our roof. Though you have doubtless brandished a spear before this day, and perhaps even in earnest, you still have a long way to go before you may call yourself a Lancer in sooth. In my capacity as Guildmaster, I shall guide your training, beginning with the very basics, the principles of our art. There exist myriad fighting styles, each of which have its own unique qualities. None, however, can claim to be an offensively minded, sorry, as offensively minded as ours. Our approach is ever one of attack, no matter who or what we face. An experienced Lancer is able to wield a polearm as if it were an extension of his body. He transforms into a raging storm before his foes, delivering a barrage of devastating thrusts and slashes. To facilitate such a relentless assault, we Lancers forego plate, favoring armor of leather and chain, such materials as provide adequate protection without unduly hindering movement. So we forego plate favoring armor of leather and chain, okay? At Lancer's uh, worth may be measured quite simply in how swiftly and decisively he can pierce his enemy's defenses. By its nature, the polearm is a simple weapon to wield for good or ill. Even in a farmer's hands, it is capable of wreaking considerable havoc. Thus has it been a mainstay of every great army since ancient times. Yet know that a lance alone does not make a lance... Wait, does not make a lancer make... Wait, what? Does not a lancer make... Faced with unfavorable odds, an unseasoned spearman will break formation and flee without a moment's hesitation. A true lancer flinches not before his enemies, for he knows not the meaning of fear. Ever does he press forward, disdainful of the odds, that he might pierce the enemy line and open a path to victory. Needless to say, doing so requires no small amount of courage, and that is why our guild has striven for the first to instill this essential quality in every soul who passes through our walls. Arduous trials await. You should... Oh, arduous trials await you, should you join our ranks. Knowing this, have you the resolve to wield the lance? Uh, yes, I guess so. Well said, adventure. I see no reason to deny you a place within our ranks. But I neglected to introduce myself. I am Yuane, master of this guild. Pleasantries truly exchanged, I hereby assign you your first task, a trial to be precise. In order to develop an affinity with your weapon and learn to gauge such things as distance, you are to go forth and brandish your spear with reckless abandon. The squirrels, ladybugs, and funguars that roam just outside the city should provide you with a suitable challenge. But down, let us say three of each and then report back to me. Okay, we can actually go kill things for the first time. So, um, we have to kill some stuff now for that man. It's raining! Um, so, huh. How do I get there? There is an aetherite crystal near me though, yeah. I should probably touch this. I have to attune myself with that. So attuning with the shard has granted you access to the city-state's Aethernet. The Aethernet can be used for quick intra-city travel. Okay, so I've only I've only done the two places so far. So it's a teleporter. Okay. So I clicked that one. Maybe I should just get all of them. Oh wait, there's something over here I can turn in. Okay, talk to Mother Miyune. The conquering hero returns. You've completed my little tasks, I trust. The three locations you visited will feature prominently in your life as an adventurer. It is best you grow familiar with them as soon as possible. And you took the time to listen to the woes of the citizenry. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to lend your talents to one and all, no matter how trivial the matter may seem. I am thankful that you are an obliging sort. It is adventurers like you who will win the hearts of the locals and pave the way for those who follow. I pray Gridania can rely on your aid in its struggles to come. Okay. Okay, so now this is too high level. It's red, right? So I can't do that. Let us actually try and do this other quest. So I think I have to go down this way. So I want to kill all these. Do I just have one attack? And I guess these are all friendly until I attack. Okay. So there we go. In the event multiple solo players attack the same target, the player who attacks first will always receive 100% of the experience points and items dropped. The players who follow will be rewarded based on their ad contribution to the battle. If you see a fellow player in need of a hand, do not hesitate to lend. Loot is automatic. Oh. Okay, great. So I don't have to touch anything. An item you have equipped is now bound to you and you can no longer be traded or put for sale on the markets. Most items can be sold and traded freely before they're used in battles, crafting, or gathering. 
This is true regardless of whether or not they have been equipped. However, performing one of the three actions after equipping a new piece of gear will bind it to you. No more clicking every body, actually. That, that is quite nice, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So Fade is short for full active time event. These public quests occur periodically in real time around Aorza. Anyone can participate by simply showing up before the end, before the one ends. When you sense a fate nearby, a message will appear on your screen. Your location will be displayed on the map. The type of fate in progress can be identified by its map icon. Mousing over the icon will display the fate title. It's automatically join a fate. Uh, the moment you cross the event threshold and the fate title objectives and duty in okay. Several levels higher than the recommended level, a level sync button will appear. Okay, so it's like a world quest in WoW. Blue circles are fates. Okay. I think I killed enough of these, so I guess we'll go back now. Yeah, I was gonna say, the community has been so, so nice. Like, it's so, so welcoming. They, like, they want to teach, which is crazy. So you're back. I trust you have learned something of the essence of our art. A lancer or... Oh, I, sh I should probably ask this too. Do you guys like when I read? Like, I, I would like to know what's going on in the game, like lore-wise and stuff. Is it okay that I'm reading these quest logs? Because I usually don't read them in WoW because they're like really long and like tedious. But like, I feel like here I need to learn. So is that okay? Yes? Okay. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. A lancer learns best when he is doing. Each thrust makes him stronger. Such things as strategy and technique will come in time and never forget courage. Without you cannot hope to realize your potential. Your look betrays no hint of doubt. I would have you take with you this hunting log. It bears the names of the creatures against which a lancer might hone his skills. To be sure, there is no single way to master our art. The log serves to guide you should you find yourself in need of direction. That will be all for the present. Now take up your weapon, sally forth, and cut a path for yourself. When we meet next i hope to see you stronger from your time out in the world your next lancer quest will be available from yuane upon reaching level five. Oh. so the hunting log is a record of your completion of tasks involving the slaying of certain creatures by completing these tasks you will earn rewards and unlock new challenges the log can be accessed via logs found on the main menu or by pressing h once the log is open, select a class and difficulty to view the available challenges for that rank. Each challenge is marked with a class name and number, such as Lancer 1. Below that name and number, you will find the target as well as how many of the target you must defeat. Hovering over the target name will display one of the areas in which the target can be located. Targets indicated in your hunting log will give you a special item, sorry, icon above the display name, making it easier to locate the creature. So it wants me as a lancer, lancer to kill three ladybugs, three ground squirrels, and the, when I do this, I get a reward for each. That's kind of a cool system. You get big experience, aka okay, kill everything in that rank. Hunting log is nice for experience. Yeah, okay, so we should do this. Well, let's think here. So in, in terms of like each class, you can do the, the log for each class once you have that class, correct? Okay, and then um, I guess they'll scale depending on the rank too. They're job dependent, it doesn't translate to your different alt jobs. So that's okay, so basically if I was to switch my job, I would have to do all of them again from rank one for that particular job, right? So we don't think I should do this right now? The hunting one? Okay, okay. There's just so much to do, I'm like, what, what do? MSQ when in doubt? Okie dokie. Don't worry about the hunting log until you have more than one job. It's pretty pointless since MSQ will carry you uh, your way through 60. Okay. Triple triad will come. Then you might do that for a long time. Oh my god. Triple triad is death. The Realm Reborn story might be a little meh, but it pays off when you get to Heaven's Ward. It gets amazing by then. People have been telling me that. The beginning always takes the longest. That's okay. We gotta get acquainted, I suppose. So I've attuned myself to all the Eighth Night Shards in Gridania. The Blue Badger Gate, the Yellow Serpent Gate, and the Airship Landing are now accessible as Ethernet destinations. Okay. So to the Bannock. So I want to go... Can I go back to the main one from here? Like if I go... Is the plaza? Mm-hmm. I appreciate the tutorial though, because honestly, I feel like I would be pretty lost if I didn't have it, so... Oh, but see, it's th the main story quest is too high for me right now. It's red. So I guess I could technically work on my, my log. All right, let's go kill some stuff. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, I got a new ability. 
Okay, so melee-oriented classes such as Gladiator and Marauder can chain together their weapon skills to deal additional damage or inflict additional enfeeblements to their targets. This is known as a combo. Combos are not available to Pugilists, 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 <laughs> Pugilists, as this melee class employs a unique weapon skill chaining system. If a weapon skill can be chained with another, it will be indicated in the weapon skills help text under combo action in the case of the Vorpal Thrust to the left, if executed immediately after true, tr true, true thrust, the potency will be increased. Some weapon skills must be delivered from a specified direction to maximize their damage. When a weapon skill can be chained into a combo, its hotbar icon will be outlined with a flashing yellow border. The border will fade if the weapon skill is not used within a certain amount of time. Learn which weapon skills chain together to maximize your battle efficiency. So I have Vorpal Thrust. Combo action with true thrust. So I got to look for when it gets highlighted on the bar and then I use it. Correct? Is that how it works? And I have to hit it within that period. Okay, I get it. And is this just the effect uh, essentially making my moves more effective? By using it as a combo? More damage. Okay. Also, I'm so sorry. I, I forgot... What level am I supposed to be at to get that quest to happen? Four, five? Okay, let's just get to five and then we'll go back in there. Does it actually say as well, though, what level it has to be? Oh, level four. Okay. Okay, let's accept this quest. Have you visited the Bannock on your wanderings? It is a training ground found just outside the city where the soldiers of the Order of the Twin Adder are drilled in swordplay and other martial matters. I mentioned this because an acquaintance of mine, a gentleman by the name of Galfred, is an instructor there, and I think you may be of use to him. Go and introduce yourself and find out if there's anything you can do to help. Mind you, do not stray far from the path. The Twelveswood is a place for merry strolls through the underbrush. It looks like there's some, uh, there's some gear that I could get from this. Okay, I think we want to go down this way now. It says level four still. Galfred, greetings! My Yune sent word to expect you. My name is Galfred and I'm responsible for training our twin adder recruits. I thank you for volunteering your assistance. The Twelveswood has much changed since the calamitous arrival of the seventh Umbral era five years ago. The power of the elementals wanes and the harmony of the forest gives way to chaos. A great abundance of life has been lost as the strong run rampant, stifling the weak and new sprung. Though it may not appear so, the eyes of an in sorry, though it may not appear so to the eyes of an outsider. The Twelveswood is ailing. It's once rich variety of fading memory. For the citizens of Gridania, the restoration of the forest is a sacred duty. And it is my hope that adventurers such as you will offer to aid them in your struggle. Listen to their requests and do all that you can. May the elementals bless your endeavors. I guess I have to pick something here. You want Disciple of War gear? Okay, Disciple of War or all classes. And then what is this bronze piece? You sell it to the NPCs. Okay, so do we think this looks like an improvement, I guess? Okay, so I leveled up. Something about the armory chest has popped up here. This is the armory system in Final Fantasy XIV allows you to change your class or job by simply changing the weapon or tool in your main hand. It is recommended that you always have several sets of gear on hand. However, gear that can take up a tremendous amount of space in one's inventory, which is why all the adventures carry an armory chest. All gear purchased, crafted, or found is automatically stored in this chest, leaving your inventory free to fill with other items such as potions, crafting materials, and food. Gear in your armory chest is categorized and sorted by type and can be equipped or discarded directly from the chest interface. The armory chest can be accessed at any time by selecting character and armory chest. Okay, so if I go character, armory chest, there is an item. I'm assuming I need to pull up my character screen and then can I just do this and equip? And that's better than what I had. So, okay, that, those are now on, I assume. You can also equip uh, best gear by clicking on the blue button above your weapon in the character menu. Recommended gear. I see. Okay, sounds good. So, um, Spear of the Fearless is back in the city. We should be able to pop over here and then here. And then we can talk to you, you Wayne. However you say his name. Okay, so, ah, you've returned. I take from your presence that you've gained a measure of familiarity with your weapon. Good, you're ready to begin the next phase of your training. You will recall my telling you that it takes no small amount of courage to be a lancer. Now, in terms 
Courage is the strength to do something which one finds unnerving. However, a Lancer's notion of courage is not so simple. Having first drawn a distinction between courage and recklessness, he then divides the former into two aspects. I would, I would have you learn each with spear in hand. The first is composure. When outnumbered in battle, a Lancer may lose his composure and succumb to panic. Should this happen, all of his training will swiftly flee his mind and he will struggle to overcome opponents whom he would ordinarily have bested with ease. He will in short contribute to his own defeat. If you wish to become a Lancer in Soothe, you must learn to maintain your composure at all times. Do this and you will be able to call upon every ons of your strength and skill when it matters most. And so to your first task. The riverbanks of the central shroud are home to vile kin known as Yarzins. Fiercely territorial, the creatures will attack anyone who strays too close, making them the bane of fisherfolk. They typically fall upon their prey en masse, barring all avenues of escape before closing in for the kill. What must go through the mind of their victim in that instant? Panic? Despair? We sure, sorry, be sure to tell me upon your return. Needless to say, I would have your brave, wait, I would have you brave such an encounter. Take this sack of decidedly noisome bait and use it to lure the ever ravenous creatures out of their nest. I have to use bait. It may be that only curious Darzan appears, but what if two or three follow the scent? Let us see how you fare then. Go now, my young Lancer, and learn what it means to fight with composure. Okay, key items. Cams can be used on targets by right-clicking on the target, then right-clicking the appropriate item from the key items window and selecting use. Okay. So I need to use a key item for this one. It looks like the foul-smelling bait is what needs to be used. So use foul smelling bait to lure out riverbank yarsons and slay them. So what do I do? Just go like this. Use invalid target on their nest, I guess. So if I go here and then I use this. Use. Oh shit. <gasps> okay guys, we got this. I believe in the dream. You, Riverbank Yarzin. Why can't I hit you? Hello? Am I not targeting you? Oh, here we go. Did somebody else take it? Okay. You guys are gonna have to let me know about jobs and stuff too. Cause like, I have to, I assume, select those at a later point in the, in the game, right? While waiting for this global, it takes forever. Okay. Level 30, Lancer becomes Dragoon. Yes! Yeah! Someone mentioned that earlier. Okay, so that is complete. Galfred, I have a quest to turn in with you, sir. Okay, so Harpoon, Shorebow, Wand, Money. Harpoon is a lancer's arm. So I guess I want that if I get this. So I see you are eager to lend a hand, Marissa, that is well. But I cannot in good conscience and sorry, send you into the forest until I've established that your equipment is equal to the task. It bears repeating that in the five years since the dawn of the seventh umbral era, many of the twelve woods creatures have transformed into vicious, bloodthirsty monsters. Venturing into the forest without the proper gear is tantamount to suicide. I suggest you take some time to evaluate your equipment. Once you deem your armor to be of sufficient quality, present yourself to me for inspection. Equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of item level 5 or above before returning to speak with Galfred. You can view and equip and remove gear by either selecting character from the main menu or pressing C. To equip an item, first select the desired slot from which to select. Do I have to buy that stuff though? I don't, like, I don't have anything. Armory chest? Where's that? Yeah, I don't think I have anything in here. I've already used the, like, the feet I replaced, right? Oh. Oh. Why didn't I have that on? What the hell? Blanche's Guild quest will give you a hat. Okay, so I guess I could do the other quest for now, see what I get, and then figure, figure that out exactly. So we'll go to Ewain, I guess, because I shouldn't present myself to this other guy at the moment. So we'll teleport to the guild and uh, take a look at that quest. And then we'll get a reward and get another piece and we can go from there. 
Welcome back, Marissa, and well done. I trust you now understand that in times of direst need, no amount of strength or skill with the spear will avail the Lancer who lacks composure. You are now ready to learn the second aspect of a Lancer's courage, resolve. When faced with a terrible foe, a Lancer may succumb to fear and self-doubt. Should this happen, he will become defensive, and in seeking to cover his weakness, surrender his greatest strength, namely his capacity to attack. A Lancer who fears to attack is not but a man holding a pole. His spear may as well be a broomstick for all the good it would do him. It is not and will never be a shield. That you may learn the truth of words firsthand, I bid you go to the central shroud to an area adjoining the abandoned dungeon known as Spirit Hold. Since the calamity that neck of the Twelves would has become a veritable menagerie of fearsome fauna, there you will find three collapsed pillars which will become a haunt for fell creatures you are to put them down. What manner of fiends can you expect to encounter? To reveal that would be to defeat the purpose of the lesson, my young Lancer. I will only say this, if you face these foes with the Lancer's resolve, you will surely emerge the victor. Once you've completed the trial, pray report to Jillian in the entrance hall. She has grasped the two aspects of courage, albeit with some trouble. Though I doubt you will encounter similar difficulties, her struggle was furnished so it has furnished her with certain insights which I think you'd benefit from hearing. A Lancer learns best what he's doing, aye, but the wisdom of his seniors is not entirely without worth. Go now, Marissa, and do as I bid you. On some quests you can encounter with objects which you can interact simply by approaching, then right-clicking. Okay. So, um, how do I get out of here? You guys said that I should be able to teleport out? Is it Central Shroud? And now I'm supposed to keep going this way. Okay, so I figured that out. Cool. So, Spear of the Fearless. Where is this on the map, though? Oh my god, it's all the way down there. Attuned to the big crystal? Where is the big crystal? This one here, down at the bottom. I mean, I guess I could go past it. Well, that's a level 7. No, we don't want to do that. I don't want to... Oh man, I gotta go around this place? Can't I just go down? Man... You think it can handle seven? Really? I'm only level five. Blue left to their name, they are neutral. Okay. By learning the spell teleport, you're now able to travel instantly between Aetherites to which you are tuned. Access the teleportation menu by selecting teleport under travel from the main menu. Unlike other spells, teleport does not require MP and instead uses a type of naturally regenerating spiritual energy. A small fee of gil, however, must be paid to the keepers of the Aetherites so that they can maintain the crystals and defend them from those who would seek them destroyed. Uh, the fee varies depending on travel distance and remoteness of Aetherite location. Registering an Aetherite as a favorite destination will reduce the amount of gil required to travel there. Up to three favorite destinations can be registered at any time. Okay, so we can actually get uh, to this area, which I think we have to go out the gates for. We interact and... Oh. Syrphid... Surfid Cloud? Surfid Cloud. This thing is higher level than me. I hope it doesn't wreck me. I'm gonna be really sad. Bum ba -dum. Okay, one. Yay, cool. Okay, we gotta do another one. Which is this one here. Another collapsed pillar. Should be another one of those guys to fight. Oh my god, it's a, a lumber toad. Oh, and I got a new ability. Look at you. I don't even know what that does. When life surge is active, I don't know what that means. I don't think I have any abilities called life surge, so I don't really know what that's re referring to. Okay, but I finished that quest. Um, um, here we go, Jillian. I've been expecting you, Marissa. By your return, I trust you now understand the importance of resolve. Like one's flesh, courage can be made strong. It is a matter of training each of its aspects. Now, the endeavor may prove difficult in the beginning. Gods know how much slash, sorry, how much I struggle. It looks like a slash. Um, you may suffer untold humiliation and more frustration than you can bear, but you must persevere. Whenever you engage an opponent, whether in training or in earnest, make a conscious effort to fight with composure and resolve. Over time, doing so will become second nature and you will acquire such courage as you never thought could be yours. Mind you, not all battles entail a physical clash of might. It could simply be a disagreement born of a conflict in ideology. 
The point is, it matters not what battlefield you stand upon, so long as you take care to be composed and resolute, your courage will grow. Does that make any sense? Even a little? I fear I cannot hold a candle to Guildmaster Ewain, but if there is aught I can do to assist in your training... What was that? Something is afoot in the training area? Mm. <clears throat> we watched one of the videos about the, the jobs and stuff. Good night, I can really have a good one. DRG? What is DRG? Dragoon? And you call yourself Lancers? Pathetic. Hey, ADI, how's it going? It is Dragoon, okay. You are next, Guildmaster. Arm yourself and face me. Is this one of the, the opposing um, races? The Greys? You are next, Guildmaster. Arm yourself and face me. Refuse, and all will know that you are not a true Lancer. Say what you will, I am above provocation. Craven to the last man. But what have we here? Wait, she is but a novice. That makes no odds to me. You yourself admitted her to your ranks, did you not? Uh... Very well, I shall withdraw for now. Yet know that only the fearless are fit to wear the mantle of Lancer. I look forward to measuring your worth in the days to come. Okay. You, I just... Uh, bye. There is not more to see. Return to your drills. That was, uh, interesting. So, I need to get my reward, essentially. You made no attempt to evade his thrust. Did your opponent so unnerve you as to deprive you of your senses? Well, it is of little consequence now. You need pay no further heed to our uninvited guests, lest you wonder it is not uncommon for challengers to come pounding on our door seeking to test their might. For now, dedicate yourself to tempering the two aspects of courage, the composure to bring the sum of your strength and skill to bear against your foes, and the resolve to attack when fear would stay your hand, as befits a lancer. When next we meet, I shall have another trial for you, one that will put your courage to the test. Until then, continue to apply yourself to your training. Farewell. So I think you guys said I needed a head piece, right? So do I take the head piece, the leather eye patch? It just sucks because it doesn't really give me like a, a boost or anything. So am I ready to go present myself now? Or do I need anything else? No, it looks like I'm good to go, right? It's got a, it's got a turn in mark. Oh, did it say, did it say plus eight or plus one? I thought it said plus one, and I was kind of like, eh, that's not like the best improvement, but I think I, I think I read that wrong. Oh, it was plus eight. Okay, gotcha. Ready for inspection, are we? Right then. Eyes forward, back straight. Yes, I think you passed muster. You would be surprised at how many young promising soldiers set themselves killing by ru Wait. Get- Wait. You would be surprised at how many young promising soldiers get themselves killed by rushing off into the woods without first donning a decent set of armor. Your equipment, however, should provide the required degree of protection. Consider yourself ready for duty. Okay, so bone harpoon is what I want, but I don't think it actually... Oh, no! This one doesn't have any improvement, so should I just take the bronze piece? Okay. Level up! By your tireless efforts, you've proven yourself a friend to Gridania. I believe you can be trusted with sensitive intelligence. I would assign you a mission of considerable import, yet the need for secrecy prevents you from disclosing its details until you have pledged your participation. I'm authorized to tell you only that it concerns suspicious activity in the Twelves Wood. Say that you will lend us your aid, and I shall proceed with the briefing. Uh, okay. Sure. Level up! Good. Time is of the essence, so listen well. I'm listening. You will by now have heard that a suspicious individual has been seen prowling the Twelves Wood. 
And you may also be aware that Ixali activity has risen sharply in the region of late. What you may not know is that this increase coincided almost exactly with the first recorded sighting of the aforementioned individual. Suspecting a connection, we tightened our surveillance in hopes of tracking down our unknown visitor. Alas, our quarry is proving to be exceedingly ex elusive, almost as if he knows our movements ahead of time. But where whole units have failed, a lone adventurer may yet succeed. Acting independently and covertly, you may be able to close in on our quarry unnoticed. Fear and anxiety are beginning to take their toll upon the citizenry, Marissa. For their sake, I ask that you aid us in this investigation. You have my gratitude. With your help, I am hopeful we will shed light upon this mystery. Begin your search at Lifeman's Stump. It is there that the majority of the sightings took place. Be forewarned, my people cannot offer you support. Lest our quarry catch scent of our presence and evade us yet again, proceed with caution. Okay. We proceed with caution, ladies and gentlemen. We have to go here, so we ride. AKA, we, we don't have a mount, so we just, we gotta walk. <laughs> uh, what is this? Magic blade? What is this? You're about to enter an instanced battle. Instanced battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Take a moment to read the information displayed in the active help window before answering the call of duty. Okay, should I just proceed? Uh oh, I'm scared. Never seen this gameplay, so it's pretty exciting. Honestly, I'm. I think it's awesome so far. Oh dear. Oh, there's voice acting. Sword in the stump. Bad idea. Really bad idea. It takes a lot less than that to incite the green wrath, you know. Why? The first time I came to the Twelves Wood, Is we this almost our ended dark up as a stranger? dinner. Just for crashing our airship in the wrong no, place. No, not this one. It was all Papalimo's fault, of course. Thanks, backwards. Well, he'd sooner swallow his stuff. Hmm. You know her, Cooper. Someone was trying to get my attention before going into the instance. Oh, guys. I tunnel vision when I play MMORPGs and I'm just learning them. I have no awareness of what's going on, honestly. I thought there was just a fight going on, so I kind of just ignored it. Well, not exactly, but we did once share a carriage. Isn't that right? How are the readings? Same as the last. There is a disturbance here as well. And newly manifested at that. Starting with HW, they replace English cast with better. I see. And Heaven's Word, the English becomes really good. So everyone agrees it gets better later. And sorry, Heaven's Word is which level? 30? Look at this guy's neck tats. Oh, sorry. 50? Seems oh, 50 to 60. Oh, oh, okay. Innocence. But if this isn't your doing, whose is it? Ever since the calamity, the forest's been really sensitive. And uh -oh. this sort of thing happens. Is this going to be a boss? Is this a tree? Oh my god! It's a bunch of trees? It seems we have little choice. Oh my god, I had to fight this thing. <gasps> oh. We're doing well here. I'm not taking like damage really at the at this moment in time. Did I kill this tree? Did I kill that one? Uh, I think so. I'm gonna get rid of some of these guys too because the ads are being problematic. I think. Oh shit. Okay, come on now. There we go. Is he dead? Oh, there's still this guy. What the? Are we done? 
We did it. Um, never even considered it, but I'm obviously a fan of Fantasy Horse, so it looks great. The last one I played was the 7 remake. Oh man, 7R was so good. I played Crisis Core right after and bawled my eyes out. It was like, it literally is like my favorite game. Like, I love it. I just like to run in and punch everything though. Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with tab targeting as well. It's in World of Warcraft too. I guess I have to get used to it, I guess, in, in a different game, a different combat system. I'm still trying to figure everything out as I go, I suppose. You guys like my eye patch? Yeah. Oh, it's awful. Oh, no. Think. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the same, same as the beginning. Arrgh. It's pretty bad. Oh, no. Crystal Bearer. We configured to make it better. There's a target I tab under character. Okay. All made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm. Yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. What? <laughs> Who are you? Explain yourself! The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay A talking claim rock, to them. obviously. <laughs> obviously, duh. Koopa. You fainted. A surfeit of ether, no doubt. Hmm. And what have we here? Oh no. Our culprit, it would seem, an Ixel. And no ordinary Ixel either. A chieftain. That they would venture this deep into enemy territory. The beastmen may indeed be acting under orders. This is Papalimo. We found How the are culprit. we feeling then? It was an excellent Better? chieftain. Good. Yes, we'll seek Brother Esumian's cooperation in the matter. Ida? Giant crystals. Oh, loud. Can't say Atlas. I've seen any. Much the same as always. Are you sure you're feeling better? 
This I'm guy's always having his own conversation. Like, out. What the hell? Kuploka. Please bear word of these developments to Brother Esumian. We shall soon return to give a full report. Understood. Over and out. Here is where we part ways. Till next time, take care. I think that sword might be a clue. You should definitely pull it out and take it back to the Bannock. Okay, bye. Good night, Ashes. Have a good you one. You don't suppose that adventurer could see Kuplo Cop, do you? And this occurs to you now? Yes. It seemed that way. Rip. Time will tell. Well, time will have to, because you won't. You never tell me what's really going on. Unless you don't know what's going on either. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? It's not that terrible. I think it could be worse. It's not the greatest, but like, I think it could be worse, you know? Okay, so I guess I take this blade. Um, okay, I guess I have to go back. Uh, so one of our patrols sent word that you've been spotted doing battle with enraged treants. Um, I believe... I believe to find you none the worse for the experience. But tell me what were you able to discover at Life Bend Stump? I guess I can hand over this piece. So a sword in the stump and a dead Ixel. I can say with absolute certainty that this blade is of Ixali origin. It is of a kind used exclusively in the Beastman's rituals. The Ixel rarely set foot in the central shroud, so tight is our guard over the area. What purpose could have driven them to take such a risk? I fear something is afoot. What's that? A dubious couple sporting peculiar spectacles? So you have finally been acquainted with Yida and Papalimo? Pa -pa uh, lay your suspicions to rest. Gridania counts them among her staunchest allies. Both are scholars hailing from a distant land and have been with us since before the calamity. Their garb may appear outlandish and their exchange is baffling, but never once have they given us cause to doubt them. Indeed, they're often assisted... Sorry. Indeed, they often assist the gods quiver and the wood whalers in their work, much as I hope you will in the days to come. Papa Limo, thank you. Although our unknown visitor eludes us still, owing to your efforts, we have acquired important intelligence on the exalted threat. You have my gratitude. We are fortunate indeed to have a capable adventurer such as you aiding us. I pray you'll continue to serve the people of Gridania in whatever capacity you are able. I guess I just got money for that. Okay, Galford has another quest. So, uh, he wishes you to collect Chigo egg sacks. Injuries to several of my men have left me shorthanded and I require a capable sword to complete their unfinished duty. The task is simple. Put down as many of the local Chigoe population as necessary to acquire three of their egg sacs. Having done so, you are to deliver them to Monragwin at Gilbert's Spire. He will answer any queries you might have. Now I have other business to attend to. Okay. So I picked that up. And, um, eggs over queasy, not too far, so it's just literally right over here. Okay, looks like we have to fight some of these guys, so I guess we'll go. Is it free trial? Yeah, I mean, I... Technically, I purchased the base game. Um, like the $24 uh, game, because I thought I had to at least have that to play, but I was proved incorrect. I didn't know. So I'm kind of bummed about it, but it's okay. I'm not gonna buy the next um, expansion that's already out. I'm gonna wait till the new one comes out in the fall, and then I think I get both uh, with that. So, all right, let's do this one. So you must be the adventurer standing in our injured com 
in for our injured companions. Terribly unfortunate business, that. Okay, so we give them the egg sack, hand it over. It seems, however, that you've had little trouble gathering the egg sacks in their stead. Excellent work. I shall have them sent over to the Trapper's League immediately. Lest you wonder, these egg sacks are not destined for the dinner table. Members of the Twin Adder and the Wood Wheelers were assisting the League by collecting the samples they need to check for signs of sickness. The Chigo, you see, is one of the few creatures capable of transmitting the disease known as the Creeping Death. Until relatively recently, any higher who contracted their ghastly illness would almost invariably perish. Indeed, a single outbreak once claimed the lives of a third of the high urine population here in Gridania. That was a long time ago, of course. With the medicines available to us now, the creeping death is not the killer it once was. Even so, it is best to halt any new outbreaks before they occur. Thus, we gather Chigo eggs on a regular basis in order to assist the Trapper's League with their ongoing research. Your timely assistance is most appreciated. Okay, so we got roll actions. Uh, you've learned a roll action. There are spells and weapon skills that are assigned to all the classes within a roll. Tank, melee DPS, range DPS, healer, rather than a specific class. Roll actions are learned in the same manner as class actions via leveling, but only need to be learned once to be able to use them with all participating classes within a roll. The roll section has been added to the tr actions traits found under character. Okay, so wait a minute. If I go Alt-C, is it Alt-C? Control-C. Roll. So it's an ability. So this instantly restores HP. I don't like that that's there. Can I move it? How do I take an ability off the bar? Do I have to? Ah. No. Oh. There. Okay, now we can lock this again. Perfect. So now I have that. Um, and this guy's got another quest for me. So let's accept it. Um, so such an embarrassing turn of events. I sent a recruit for the Bannock on the serving expedition only for the Craven to turn tail and flee at the first sight of trouble. This is not how we treat requests for the Conjurers, and as if such a poor showing weren't bad enough, the lily-livered half-wit left behind the serving equipment provided by Hero Pauline herself. While I attempt to instill some backbone into this so-called soldier, would you mind recovering the survey gear and returning it to the Hero Pauline at Gabino's Bower? According to my recruit's tale of woe, there should be a set of survey records, a surveyor's rope, and two boxes of surveyor's instruments strewn about the interior of a cave to the south of here. It's a wonder the damn fool didn't lose his boots. Matron, watch over you. Okay, so, um, it looks like all of this is in this area. Let's go down here. Um, I'll go like this. All right, off we go to the next quest area. To the south of here. So we got the surveyor's rope, guys. That's one thing. We'll kill this guy. I forgot this back here. Okay, so we need the instruments. Um, all right, so we've got surveyor's instruments. Can I pick this up? It's gonna interrupt me. Bitch! That's so rude. Okay. Should be able to pick this one up now. And, uh... Surveyor's records, I guess? I'm missing... Recover the survey records. I don't know where that is. Oh, they're in the corner back there. Hey, Ick! How's it going? I am enjoying it so much so far. It's been really, really fun. Oh, this... These fogs. Okay. And we'll turn in. Okay, so he should be somewhere around here. Um, inside? Yep, Pauline. Yes, may I assist you with some matter? Um, I mean, I guess you want all of these, so I'm, I'm gonna hand them over to you. But this is the equipment I left with the soldiers of the Bannock. Fled at the first sign of danger, you say? I see. Well, all is not lost. It appears that the recruit managed to complete the surveying assignment. The records are actually quite detailed. With the changes wrought by the calamity, I thought it was wise to send the order of the Twin Adder on a number of expeditions to map the region's topography. 
As fortune would have it, the officers saw these tasks as an excellent opportunity to train inexperienced soldiers. We can no longer rely on our past knowledge of the Twelves would. If we are to survive these troubled times, we must reacquaint ourselves with our surroundings, that we may better discern the threats we face, stay vigilant adventurer. Okay, so we can take Disciple of War. This is a plus five in the Defense Department. Ooh. Ooh, but I don't know. This is for all cla- Chad, what do we do here? Do we go with the Disciple of War gear or do we go with the all classes? Because it has buffs in both departments and they're, they're higher buffs. I mean, in this case, I don't know what to do. War? Why? Okay, so why did we choose that? Is it because of the secondary stats? Because this one has strength on it and stuff? Is that why? Is that just Does that just trump the defense and the magic defense boost? Okay, so I should just go with that because it says for the Disciple of War. Okay. Okay, so we'll go with that then. So we'll take this. And then it should be able to uh, equip. That's an interesting tunic outfit. Okay, so Pauline says, I hesitate to make such a dangerous request, but might you assist us in the thinning the number of anoles on Naked Rock? In our efforts to commune with the elementals, we conjurers often find ourselves in the area. Of late, however, our meditations have all too frequently been interrupted by unprovoked anole attacks. Truly, the beasts grow more aggressive by the day. Hello? Their numbers have continued to grow since the advent of the seventh umbral era, you see, forcing packs of the scales kin to come down from the mountains in search of food. If you could slay a handful of the beasts, that should lessen their need to hunt and also serve as a warning to the anoles to remain within their territory. But I'm afraid you must do more than than thin the existing population. If we're truly to break this spiraling growth, then we must also target their future offspring. Bring me one of their eggs and we will have played your part in remaining... Sorry, returning balance to this area of the forest? It wants me to bring one of their eggs? What are we gonna do? Freaking destroy them? So I guess we need to get these anoles out of here, but this person's got that one under control. So we'll just uh, push up top here. We'll go like this. We'll go like this. We'll get behind his aggro zone and stay out of that one. Hit this here. Change target. Get out of the range of this. I feel like this is quite simple. Like the the abilities so far, I'm I'm grasping. It's not too difficult. This class is actually pretty easy as an introductory class. So, all right, you know. Here we go. What is this? An egg. So I guess I have to take that. My hunting log got updated and I got the egg. So I think that that's it. All right, so we'll go up here. And turn into Pauline. Um, okay, so you've returned. Now might your brothers and sisters continue their meditations undisturbed. You have my thanks. As for the egg, may I ask you to deliver it to Tsub Kamazam at the Bannock. Animal eggs are both large and filled with nutrients. The perfect meal for a soldier. She'll be more than a little pleased to see you, I should imagine. Okay. So, I guess we want to go this way. Questing in this game is better than classic. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like... I'm more interested in the lore, personally. In my opinion. In this one. Who goes there? Oh, Marissa, it's you. Another delivery? Yes, I have an egg. I'm not certain I should be the one to buy Nothica. That's an anal egg. The troops will be glad indeed to see one of us, at, one of these at table. You say here Pauline sent you on this errand. I hear the anoles are more numerous than ever. Yet you appear to have managed the task with your, managed the task with your skin intact. Your skill and bravery continue to amaze me. Okay, so we've got this one. You can now accept the next class. I was reading that. Oh, action learned. Leg sweep. I am a monk. I am a monk. Okay, hold on. We have to go control C. This one. Equip the new spear. And we'll go to Galfred. Thank the gods you've come. We have a potential crisis on our hands and I'd appreciate your assistance. Will you hear me out? Listen well, for we haven't much time. To the southeast of here lies a dungeon known as Spirit Hold. It was all but destroyed during the Calamity. Desiring to offer the ruins back to the forest, a here ventured inside to carry out the rite of 
Returning. Returning? Is that what it said? Alas, it would seem something has gone awry. Word arrived just months ago that the hero and his guards have been attacked by a towering shadow. I, you heard me, true, a shadow. On any other day, I would dispatch my best quivermen to provide support, but I sent them to repel an Exali incursion in the West Shroud and area Belago. The timing of these events cannot be mere coincidence. I fear the Exile somehow caught wind of our plans, and we're attempting to disrupt the right in an effect to weaken the bond between man and elemental. How dare they? They must not be allowed to succeed, and so I bid you go to Spirit Hold and do whatever is necessary to resolve the situation. Please say you will help us. I knew you would not let me down. You will have all the support I can muster. Now we are racing against time, so you had best make haste. Oh, okay. All right, let's keep going down this way. We're going to go into the little corner over here and uh, get this next person spoken to. New job quest? Is that back at the Lancer Guild place? Who goes there? An adventurer, is it? Here at instruction, Galfred's... Sorry, here at Instructor Galfred's request, you say. Thank you, Matron. Uh, doubtless you have already... Sorry, doubtless you already know this, but a towering shadow manifested without warning and attacked the here in the midst of the right. Most of his party has been successfully ev evacuated, but five remain unaccounted for. Please find them and see them out of harm's way. Is that back here? I guess I helped this person. A great shadow towering over me. What in the twelve's good grace? Oops. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I was trying to read that. Rescue the missing, because there was five of them. So I guess I'll take this one as well. Are you interrupting me, seriously? Wow. Okay. This one. Um, ambushed. Okay, so we'll get that guy out of there. Um, ambush. Slay him before he can escape. Where am I? I'm in the middle of a fate right now, I think. What? Is this an instance? So useful professions are their own jobs, such class, you level them, and they have a rotation. Oh, okay. Oh, there's no no words. Oh, mournful voice of creation, grant you this humble stone of soul that it may wake to life. Okay. Oh boy, I gotta fight this thing. I have a heal now, at least. But this looks like it's gonna be hard. It's a golem. Level 10. What does this do? Stuns the target, okay. Oh god, get me out of here. You are strong, but are you strong enough to withstand this? Is that what he just said to me? Who do you think I am, sir? Uh-oh. Oh, man. Hey, yeah. He did. Defeat the. Defeat. Defeat the clay golem. I did it. Oh, yay. Okay, he's dead now. The golem could be vanquished. The woman is no ordinary adventurer. No, I'm not. You can stun to interrupt some of his casts. I figured it would be like, wow, but I didn't see the bar. It's above their health. Okay, I have to pay attention to that next time. I didn't see that. Oh, these guys are back. Darn nation, he's eluded us yet again. Oh, fancy meeting you here. How are things? 
Uh, not good, apparently. Oh, okay, gotcha. I mean, I play well. <laughs> I play well as well. More birds, this makes it... How many times today? Seven? Their movements are beyond our fathoming. Do you think maybe they're trying to summon their primal? I hope not, for all of our sakes. Yeah, we must be prepared for the worst. Okay. Wither, the same fate has befallen Emerald Moss. It is as we feared. Dalamud's anomaly is affecting life in the Twelveswood. You mean the disturbance in the Aetheric Flow? The very same. The Garleans have a lot to answer for. The imbalance they have created is plunging the land into chaos, just as Luiso forewarned. It's no wonder the primals have started appearing. Time is against us, but there is still hope for the land. We must hold fast to that hope and fight to the very last. Agreed. Stupid things. These stupid things happen to be the very latest in Charlayan innovation. Show some respect. But they're so uncomfortable and ugly. If you ask me, they're an improvement over that mask of yours. Hard to believe it's already been five whole years, isn't it? Already, five years is but a heartbeat in the life of the planet. I suppose you're right. Now that I think about it, the Twelve Woods barely recovered at all, and the Gridanians still have the same old problems. Aye. Along with some new ones. Just in case the Exal and Garuda weren't troublesome enough, the Sylphs had to go and invite Ramu, didn't they? Do you ever think about those adventurers who fought alongside us? I do, and then five years seems like ages. I wonder what became of them. Ah! Ida, look! And this is what exactly? Another disturbance in the Aether and freshly manifested at that. It seems to be emanating from Lifeman's stump. We must hurry. Oh, and that, that's right before that we, we met up with them, right? Are you alright? Your eyes glazed over for a while there. The good news is that the hearer is unharmed. Somewhat dazed, yes, but whole of mind and body. The bad news concerns everything else. Okay. Lest you forget the twelve sort of the domain of the elementals. It is by their leave that man abides in the forest and avails himself of its bounty. The ground which the dungeon occupies is no different. Having no more use for the dungeon, the grin grid. Gridanians sent a here to offer the place back to the elementals by way of the rite of returning, which is essentially an expression of gratitude. Alas, he failed to complete the ritual for obvious reasons. While the poor soul cannot be blamed for this, the fact remains that unless the elementals are given their due, they may well consider it a slight. And the very last thing the Gridanians can afford to do in these uncertain times is risk alienating sorry, the Twelve Woods Eternal Guardians. But you have more than done your part. We shall see the hero to safety and send for his peers to finish the rite. In the meantime, please make your way outside and report to Elliston. Ah, oh, but where are my manners? I am Papa Limo, and the tactless woman beside me here is Ida. Papa Limo and I are surveying the Twelveswood together. Pleased to meet you. Ida, give me a hand, would you? Okay. Wait, there's something familiar about you. Could it be that you are... Never mind. Doubtless my eyes are playing tricks. Till we meet again. That was weird. Look at how he walks. He's just throwing his whole trunk into it. Okay. You go. You go. Um, okay. So now... I need to go back out this way. All 
else happened inside Spirit Hold? 12 preserve us. Who was that masked mage? And by what dark ambition is he driven? So many things shrouded in mystery. Well, I shan't find any answers on my own. I must needs discuss this with Galfred. The matter warrants a full investigation if I'm any judge, and that shall certainly be my recommendation. Your courage has saved many lives this day, adventure. For this, you may have my deepest gratitude. We return to Gridania and seek out Miune. I understand she wishes to thank you for your efforts on our behalf. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm probably gonna wrap up today's stream here. I will be back tomorrow. For everyone that is new, I do stream Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time every day. My first impression on the game is I actually really enjoy it and I'm, I love it. I think it's really fun and I want to keep playing it. So I will definitely be playing it again tomorrow. I love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to follow me on social media. So thank you so much. Enjoy your evening and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.